One of my videos went over 3.3 million views on YouTube and the truth is, I hate that video. I hate it. When people see some of my most popular videos, they may think that I'm breaking the bank with all the sweet YouTube money I'm making through them. But I also know for sure that there are a lot of people who thinks that under the current revenue system, it isn't really worth starting a music related channel, sharing music videos or educational content. Being a musician can seem scary, especially at the very beginning when sometimes we'll live from one month to the other, right? So it's really hard to tell if running a YouTube channel for little to no return for so long, worth it or not. This is why I wanted to share some of my most popular videos revenue today. I'm going to tell you exactly how much money these videos made and I'm going to explain you why that happened. Most of you probably know, but I'm, I'm going to say it anyway, just real quick, that actually there are two different video types on YouTube. We have the YouTube shorts, the vertical videos, and we have the long form videos like this one, the, the traditional YouTube video style and they have two completely different revenue system and I'm going to show you the video, the short uh, that I made and got 3.3 million views. Three point three million views and uh, generated revenue ninety two point thirty four dollars, which is crazy. We're still talking about um, revenue; it's not profit. This is before taxes, transaction fee, and in my personal case, before currency exchange. And if you go down a little bit here, you can see a pretty good uh, view duration, a really nice. Uh, retention rate. But if you go into the revenue tab, you can see that it generates three cents after uh, each thousand views. And this is crazy. The average, average YouTube shorts generate somewhere between one to six cents per a thousand views. That's crazy. Now, of course, they are shorter, they are easier to make, and I found that it's easier to make them go viral, but, but this is crazy. Now, I also have to mention that I published this video in 2022, August, and that time I wasn't monetized yet, and the YouTube Shorts program haven't launched either. So for the first half a year, this video haven't made a single dime. When it started making money in 2023, February, it already had 1.5 million views. So 3.3 million views, $90. That's it. You may want to leave now and stop watching this video, but bear with me because we're going to dig deeper. Compared to that, long form videos like this one will get you anywhere between 1.6 to $29.3 per thousand views. And that's quite a big of a range. So what does it depend on? On my channel, there are two main categories for the videos. One is uh, similar to this one, the educational style or talking cat style videos where I talk to a topic from 10 to 30 minutes long. It's a longer type of video. And on the other hand, we have the music videos, which also have two other categories. One is a song from a public domain. When I, when I play something written by a composer who's been dead for over 70 years, like a Tarjega piece, Bach, Mozart, and so on. And the other category is when I play a copyrighted song. Let's say you play something from uh, Leo Brower or a John Williams arrangement on classical guitar, or I don't know, um, uh, Gustavo Santaolala, anything. These are going to be in a different category. Obviously, longer videos generate more revenue to the creators because uh, YouTube just prefer longer videos. They make viewers stick around longer. They can put more ads into the videos and uh, it's just a huge win for the system. So you can naturally see creators, musicians, shifting from pushing only music videos out towards uh, making long form content, like educational content, entertaining content, any kind of long form content really. So while I think songs and music has 
uh, great value. Obviously, I believe in that because I'm a musician. Um, I've learned from YouTube how serving others, sharing something that benefits me and my community is just as valuable and won't make me less of a musician. This is my most popular long form video. It's a 30 minutes long video about uh, exercises, classical guitar exercises, but they're suitable for any other guitarist as long as they hold the guitar a little bit more upright and not horizontally, doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. So this video has 300 thousand views and the estimated revenue is one thousand three hundred ninety two dollars and if you scroll down it gets really interesting because as you can see the average view duration is only three minutes average percentage viewed is 9.9 percent everything looks bad so 47 percent of people we're watching at uh, the 30 second mark, which is below typical. This is a badly performing video, but if we jump into the revenue tab, we can see that for every 1000 views, it generates $3.49. So just compare the views, just compare the numbers. We, we haven't even talked about the meaning, about the content of the two video types. We haven't even talked about values. We're just talking about numbers at this point. Now I want to show you one last video, one last data before we get to the conclusion, because a lot of people are sharing their music videos or music covers here on YouTube. And for example, here's my video of The Last of Us theme, which is obviously a copyrighted song with, uh, with a revenue share. So when you play something which has a copyright claim on it, the generated revenue will be split between you and the copyright owner. So here's this video with 10,000 views, 10,000 people watched this and it generated $6.76. Revenue for every 1,000 views is 68 cents, which is closer to a YouTube short than a normal and average um, YouTube video, you know, a standard long form video. As we said earlier, long form YouTube videos can get you anywhere between 1.6 to um, $29.3 per thousand views, but it really depends on what category or what niche you are making videos in. So if you are making videos about uh, finance, about how to get rich, about digital marketing, you are more likely to see higher numbers per thousand views than someone who's making video game content, music videos, or cooking videos. YouTube has always been much more than just about making money, right? And some videos aren't meant to perform well. Some videos are just meant to be for a small group of people to inspire and help them. Different videos have different goals, and I know exactly why that video went viral. It had a very strong statement, it was controversial, with little to no explanation on the topic, and it just triggered people into watching and commenting. And while this is a great source of views, and it made me a lot of subscribers, but I'm not sure if those subscribers are going to translate into long-form viewers or engaged viewers or community members. Most people who are scrolling the shorts tab, they see your video and they're gonna keep scrolling. Even if they like your video, they're just gonna keep scrolling and there's nothing wrong with that. I could make a lot more videos like that one with strong, bold statements, uh, triggering people and stuff like that, but I wouldn't be happy with myself and I wouldn't be happy with the content I'm making. Honestly, it had so little explanation. That's one of the worst thing you can do in an educational manner. I made that video because I expected a great amount of views. I don't like that video, but it's gonna stay on my page forever as a reminder that 3 million views means nothing if all I've done was to make a bunch of people angry for $92. My long form videos have way less views than my shorts, but they allow me the opportunity to, to present myself as a human, to build trust and to deliver real value. And it may take me 10 minutes to explain something about the posture, but you can take that piece of advice with you through the rest of your life. And I don't know about you, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen a short that have changed 
my entire playing for the better. So yes, it feels nice to go viral with a short, but I'm not sure if uh, those people who watched that short are gonna click on my 20 minute long um, thumb position, left hand thumb position video. And you know what? That's my favorite video I've made recently. It's a 20 minute long video about the left hand thumb. It's funny, it's raw and it's real. And it's just one of my favorite videos I've ever made. However, I'm not saying that shorts are bad or that you're not supposed to make shorts or that they are, that they are gonna hurt your channel. I'm not saying any of those things. Um, actually, it's really good to know how to develop a concept, how to develop an idea into something with a viral potential. If you think about abstract painters or painters who are not painting very realistically, the best of them, they know anatomy in and out. When they paint something that leaves traditional anatomy, they choose to leave that behind. It doesn't just happen by accident. They know how the rules work and they choose to leave it. And those are going to be the most fantastic artworks, I think. All I'm saying is that it's really good to know these tricks and then once you know them, you can decide if you want to use them or not. It's also worth mentioning that this video with the 3.3 million views and the $90, if the same thing happens on Instagram, that means zero dollars because Instagram doesn't pay you. But these videos, these viral videos or videos that went like over a million views have got me into a position where brands want to advertise with me. They got me into a position when, where I can negotiate rates that I'm comfortable working for. They are one of my main income sources right now and I'm hoping to change that a little bit in the future to, to get a little bit more control over my income, but it's a really good deal to have this. The conclusion is that YouTube money is not great, but it's not bad either. And YouTube helps me to monetize my work in other ways, uh, connecting you know these, these different uh, ways or sources of income. So remember my 11 exercises, which we were talking about earlier, so that video performed really well. So I made the exercises into a booklet. Now, these are the exact same exercises as you, what you can see in the video, but it's uh, written down in sheet music and tabs. All exercises have a short um, explanation. There's a condensed version at, at the end of the booklet. So this is a good additional way, something extra you can offer or I can offer to my audience if someone wants uh, to learn or work in a more structured, structured way rather than just watching a YouTube video. That video also got me some new private students, which is great. And also some new patrons on Patreon, which is a great, uh, great platform to allow your most devoted viewers and followers to support your art and work. So that's, that's fantastic. Many of my music videos have copyright claims, meaning that uh, I make like six cents per, I don't know, thousand views but I also have CDs and vinyls in my shop. So a lot of people who start listening to my music on YouTube, they may want to buy a CD and vinyl later. So that's also a great opportunity for me to, to connect these platforms and these opportunities. So if you're a musician on this platform, consider expanding your, your monetizing opportunities into different, different areas and think about how you can connect those different income sources into your YouTube channel or to your YouTube channel. I think the most important is to make videos that we are happy with. Cause if I look back at some of my older videos that I made in the past and some of them have very little views, I'm still proud of them and I'm still really happy I made them. Cause uh, through them, I was able to, to fulfill some kind of societal role I wanted to. And I know that the best videos are the ones that I'm excited about and the ones that are meaningful to me. And I learned that if I stick to my values, I'm gonna find my audience. It may take a bit longer or much longer, but I'm gonna find my people eventually. So I just have to be patient. I just have to make my videos that I find meaningful and interesting. And I will take my time to grow this channel slowly. And I can only hope that you'll accompany me on this journey.